What is it, Hero? It's a lynx. It's one of the wild boar's predators. Oh, no. We have to hide. Hmm. The mud seems to camouflage the young wild boar. I don't think the lynx can find the boar. But the lynx can see us. It's coming closer. Let's worry about the dirt later. Here we go. The wild boar. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Hero, the potatoes are ready. You want to help me dig them out? Great. We can have baked potatoes for dinner this evening. Hey, where did you come from? It's okay, Hero. We have enough potatoes to share. It has a snout like a pig. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look up, hairy pig. Katie, are you there? I just sent you a photo of an animal that looks like a pig. Hi, Leo. I received the photo. What a cute snout. Can you find more information about it? Yes, I can. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. So what did you find? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a wild boar. A wild boar? The wild boar is like a pig that lives in the wild. There are different types of wild boars, and the one you found is a young eastern wild boar. Eastern wild boars are found in the tropical jungles of India, Southeast Asia, and the Far East. It likes our potatoes. What else do they eat? Wild boars are omnivores. They eat leaves, fruits, and nuts, and also animals like insects, mice, and worms. Sometimes they damage farmlands when they eat all the crops. Yes, it ate up many of our potatoes earlier. Let's bring it back to its natural habitat where it can find more food. Come and join us. Good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Ranger Rocky! Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see your new friend is a young wild boar. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We found it eating our potatoes in our garden. We want to bring it back home. You might want to look for a forest thick with trees and a lot of vegetation. So a place with enough food for them to find and shelter for them to hide from predators. And if you want to find this young boar's mother, you should look for a sounder. A sounder? Yes, a sounder. A sounder is a group of female wild boars and their young children. Male boars will leave their sounder and live by themselves when they are old enough. Male boars have larger canine teeth than the females. This young boar is a female, so she will stay with her sounder. Then we have to bring her back to the sounder she belongs to. Wild boars are shy creatures. 
but they might attack if they feel threatened or when they are protecting their young. So be careful. You might be able to find a sounder deeper in the forest. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a dense forest with trees, bushes, and plants. And on this side is a sandy beach. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a dense forest. And over there is a sandy beach. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go to a dense forest with a lot of vegetation because there, wild boars can hide from predators and look for food. Let's go. Boy, it's a very hot day. Is she okay? It seems wild boars do not like extreme hot or cold weather. They are nocturnal, so they usually sleep in the day to avoid the heat. Sometimes they roll in the mud to keep themselves cool. What is it, Hero? You found a mud pool! There you go, wild boar! What is it, Hero? It's a lynx! It's one of the wild boar's predators! Oh no! We have to hide! Hmm... The mud seems to camouflage the young wild boar. I don't think the lynx can find the boar. But the lynx can see us! It's coming closer! Let's worry about the dirt later. Here we go! Don't go anywhere! We'll be back soon! How much further do we have to go? Not long now. According to this map, it's just beyond the river. Why is it so far away? Well, many years ago, the almond rose used to bloom nearly everywhere in Alipolis. It was a beautiful flower with a wonderful <laughs> scent. But the Ollie Rose needs a special environment to bloom. Huh. People started cutting down a lot of trees for wood. They also released harmful chemicals into the water. The Ollie Rose couldn't survive. So the last Ollie Rose is gone? Not quite. It was last spotted near the source of the river. Here. If we can find one, we can replant it in a leaf palace so everyone can enjoy its beauty. The water is polluted from the chemicals people dumped into the river. How are we going to cross?
Once we learn more about them, we can replant them all over Elapolis. is very fragile. If we don't protect it, we could lose it forever. By throwing chemicals into the river, we pollute it. And all the animals and plants that depend on the water are affected. Cutting down trees causes erosion. Rain will wash away the top layer of soil. Plants can't grow without soil. But when we all work together to protect the environment, we can prevent plants and animals from going extinct. <laughs> I love Alibolus. I can't wait to see what will happen tomorrow. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back soon. Hello, Chucky. Do you have anything for me to deliver? Cool. I'm on it. 
Here's your letter, Billy. Thank you, Paula. It's a drawing from Chalky. Do you want to send Chalky a thank you note? Sure, Paula. Here you go. Thanks, Billy. Here's your letter, Chalky. Do you want to send another letter? Yes. La, 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 la. I'm delivering letters. Delivery for Calc. Here you go. It's from Chalky. Cool drawing. Calc, do you have anything for me to deliver? No? How about you, Tim? Nope. Why are you delivering things, Paula? It's my new postal service. I want to be the best delivery person in the world. I'll make sure your letters and packages arrive safely. Oh, it's the phone. Hello, Paula's Postal Service. Do you need something delivered? Hi, Paula. It's Mr. Banana Tree. I'm having trouble with my regular postal service, and I need to send a package to Mr. Totem Head urgently. Can you and your friends help me? Of course. We'll be right over. Come on, guys. We have to help Mr. Banana Tree deliver a package. Let's go to the jungle. Hi, Mr. Banana Tree. What do you need us to deliver to Mr. Totem Head? Hello, children. Mr. Totem Head is in El Goldrado. Here's the package. Please hurry. I've tried sending it using the Monkey Postal Service, but they never delivered it well. What happened, Mr. Banana Tree? Let me tell you. Yippee! My package is here! <laughs> hey! What happened to all my bananas? <laughs> The delivery monkey ate the bananas in the package. That'll never happen with Paula's Postal Service. I'll make sure the package gets delivered to Mr. Totem Head without any bananas going missing. Wonderful. How much do I owe you for this delivery? Oh, I can get money for this. How much do you usually pay? Seven coins. You can count them to make sure I've given you all seven coins. Okay, the numbers can help us count. One, two, three, four. Um, it's a paintbrush. Sorry about that. I'm taking art classes. Five, six, seven. We got all seven coins. Thanks, Mr. Banana Tree. Come on, guys. Help me put the package in buggy, and we'll drive it all the way to Mr. Totem Head. Oh, dear. A monkey is trying to get the package. <laughs> ah! Shoo! Go away, monkey! <laughs> Good job, Calc. Oh, no! There are more monkeys coming. Billy, you come with me. Tim, Calc, and Chucky, you guys stay here and distract the monkeys so we can get away with the package. We're on it, Paula. <laughs> hey, monkeys, look at me. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Hurry, leave now. See you later, guys. <laughs> ah, ah, Calc, Chucky. We need to stop the monkeys from following them. Over here, monkeys! Boogie woogie woogie! Boogie woogie woo! <laughs> ah, ah. A banana drawing? That's a great idea, Chalky! <laughs> ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Whoa, be careful, Chalky! I hope the monkeys aren't following us. Look out, Paula! There's a tree branch on the road. Hang on tight, Billy. Whoa, dear. That was close. Huh? Why aren't we moving? We're stuck in the mud, Paula. We need help. 
I will never be able to deliver this package to Mr. Totem Head. <laughs> We stopped the monkeys from going after Paula and the package. Huh? Someone's calling me. Hello? Hi, Tim. We need your help. Hi, Paula. We managed to chase away the monkeys. Everything is okay now. No, it's not. Buggy is stuck in the mud and we can't get out. Don't worry, Paula. We're on our way to save you. Getting in there? I don't want to get all muddy and dirty. Calc, you go. Come on, guys. I don't want my first real delivery to fail. How about you, Chalky? Can you help us, please? Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. We need that long vine over there. Ready, guys? On the count of three, pull as hard as you can. The numbers will help, too. One, two, three. Pull! Oh! We need to pull again. One, One two, two, three. Pull! Oh! It's working. Buggy is moving. Keep going, guys. One, One two, two, three. Pull! Oh! One, two, two three. three. Pull! Oh! Yes! Buggy is out of the mud. We did it. Woohoo! And we didn't get any mud on us. Now let's hurry to Mr. Totem Head. Here's your package, Mr. Totem Head. Yippee! Finally! Let's see. There's no missing bananas. Well done, children. I'm recommending Paula's Postal Service to everyone. Thanks, Mr. Totem Head. Vroom, vroom. Tim's car moves to the left, and then to the right, and then it passes Chalky's car. Um, has anyone seen Paula? And where's Calc? Maybe Paula's outside making a delivery. And here comes Calc. Um, what are you carrying, Calc? That's a big package. This label says, Special Delivery. Special delivery? Is it a new toy? Is it for me? Let's open it. Surprise! Whoa! I'm the special delivery. <laughs> Number of the day. Seven monkeys. Seven bananas. Dance with Cal. It's a very hot day. Is she okay? It seems wild boars do not like extreme hot or cold weather. They are nocturnal, so they usually sleep in the day to avoid the heat. Sometimes they roll in the mud to keep themselves cool. What is it, Hero? You found a mud pool. There you go, wild boar. Ha, ha, ha! 
What is it, Hero? <coughs> it's a lynx. It's one of the wild boar's predators. Oh, no. We have to hide. Hmm. The mud seems to camouflage the young wild boar. I don't think the lynx can find the boar. But the lynx can see us. It's coming closer. Let's worry about the dirt later. Here we go. That was close. Phew. <laughs> Rolling in the mud pool is cool indeed. Let's clean up before we continue. So what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the young boar sounder, just look for female wild boars. Not for wooden oars or tiny red doors, but look for female wild boars. I see. So not for wooden oars or tiny red doors, but, but look, look for, for some, some female, female wild, wild boars. boars. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the young boar's sounder, you have to look for some female wild boars. Good luck. Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the sounder of the young wild boars. Can you see what that is? It's a boar. But look at the size of those teeth. It must be a male, not a female. So let's keep looking. Do you know what the... Whoa, they're gone. Well, I don't think those were boars. Let's continue. Are those female wild boars? Yes, they are. Great work, Hero. We're coming over. Okay, little one. We'll stay here. It might be too dangerous for us. Look, it's her mother. We did it. We found the sounder of the young wild boar. Great job, everyone. Yay! a young wild boar in our garden. We learned that wild boars live in dense forests with lots of vegetation. So we went to the forest and brought her back to her sounder. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. <laughs>